Hi folks, welcome to Loving the Lingo. This is all about my uh, 2002 Citroen Berlingo van. Um, before we get into the video, um, as always, please like, share and subscribe. When you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're informed of all my videos as and when I do them. Um, also, can you have a look in the description box below? Check out my friends, support them. Absolute great bunch of lads. Um, we haven't got any lasses yet, so definitely great bunch of lads. No, there is a lass, it's Heidi. My bad, I'm sorry Heidi. Um, great bunch of lads and lasses. Um, yeah, go check them out, support them, you know, drop drop comments on their videos, let them know that Danny sent you. Um, if you want to support me a little bit more, uh, you can do so through um, Patreon. Uh, Patreon is, is similar to YouTube, but it's, it's a subscription, it's a dollar a month. You know, it's not a lot of money, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trying to put up exclusive content, uh, content and um, sort of a bit more behind the scenes stuff of what I'm doing. Plus there's going to be some like Q&A stuff as well. So if you want to ask me anything, it'd be better to do it over there. Um, also, you can sort of go through uh, and, and get merchandise. Um, I have a Teespring store. Um, we, we have hoodies, cups, bags, all sorts of products in all sorts of different colours. So, so yeah, go, go check that out and support me where you can. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is all about my uh, Citroen Berlingo van. Um, I did actually do um, like a part one to this about six months ago. Because uh, it was, I, I was going to sort of do like a little rolling restoration. I'm trying to do it up as my work van, basically. Um, but then um, it broke down, and then it was off the road for a little while. And then Michelle's car broke, so they had to sort of get this back on the road. And it was only going to be temporary, and I was going to fix my car. Um, and I started doing that yesterday, and then discovered it needs a lot more work than anticipated. But the problem is, now the Berlingo, uh, the MOT ran out on it yesterday. So we need to get it fixed, otherwise we've got no car to drive, or no vehicle to drive at all. So that's what I'm doing. Um, let, let me sort of give you a quick quick walk around. Um, like, like I said, I did do a part one to this before, but it was a bit shit. Um, I will um, I will still put it up, but I'm going to leave it um, unlisted. So have a look up here, there's a card. If you do want to check it out, go check that out. It's basically uh, just showing how I'll put some rails down the sides of the van for anchorage and stuff. It's not too bad, but it's also in a vlog. Um, you can check that out on this video. Um, so yeah, let, let's, let's go through the van and I'll show you show you what we're talking about. So there she is in all her glory. Um, as you can see, she uh, used to belong to a roofing company and she's been through the wars a little bit. Uh, there's dents, dents all over it and fucking all sorts of shit. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's a work van. It's been used and abused. Uh, I mean, I, I did this, that, that tends to work, it's all cable tied up. But that's solid enough, it ain't going anywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the main idea was to take this off the road for, uh, and then do it all properly, and then do a proper series of, like, individual bits. I mean, like, the windscreen's cracked, as you can see there. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put a real nice sound system in this. And the idea was that the, the sound system... It is going to be pretty fucking loud to show off like my box building skills and stuff. And I wanted to blow this screen out so before I replaced it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to replace this, you know, beforehand. So plans have changed a little bit, but we were still the the, the idea of the, the van's still going to be the same. There's still going to be a decent series of it. So yeah, like I was saying, you know, it's dense all over. There's a little bit of rust on the arches uh, there. Yeah, this still. Uh, has gone at the bottom. There's, there's no light. I can't get under there. But basically, it's just on the jacking point. Somebody jacked it up in the wrong place. Crushed the seal, and it's just right through. Um, then it need, needs new handles and stuff. Um, yeah. Back doors are, are stuff. I'll try and get some new doors for it. Where where somebody's put this lock on, you know, you've got to sort of lean on it like that to to get it to close. Um, this side is actually pretty straight. There's some. Marks there and, and stuff, but you know, other than that, it's pretty straight. I'm not looking forward to getting that's gonna be a pain in the ass without stretching that panel, but yeah, this, this side ain't too bad. Look, um, the biggest issue with this side is what this video is going to be about is this bottom edge here. Um, it don't look too bad, but what's actually happened is it's dog, oh, come on, it's gone there. I don't know if you can hopefully you can see that moving, so yeah, it was basically just. Uh, rotted on the rotted on the edge there and just gone so the plan is eventually 
you know, I'm gonna, it's all gonna be sprayed up and sign written and everything else. I want a nice clean uh, finish, so these trims are all gonna be coming off. So today's plan and this video is going to be rebuilding this bottom bit. I can't buy these panels. I mean, the only thing you can buy for these is wings and bonnets and stuff. So I'm gonna have to make that. But at the same time, I'll weld up all these holes here so that I can put a little skimmer filler in it and then at least get it primed up. And then uh, we'll just slowly go through everything as we do it. So the first job is uh, there's a trim inside that needs to come off, get this panel off and then get all the paint off and get all this cleaned up. Well, I've got the trim off and uh, I gave it a little bit of a clean up inside. You can actually see the light coming through, you know how bad it is. Um, I actually genuinely thought that the uh, water was coming in through these holes and that's why it rotted at the bottom. It turns out, I think, it's coming in this little tiny gap here and then just running running down. So, <clears throat> have a look inside. You can see there's no water marks anywhere. And then you can sort of see down there, there's no signs of water, there's cobwebs and everything else. I don't know if it shows up because of the light, but you can see where this little patch here seems wet where that's dry so I genuinely think the water is coming in that edge and then just sitting on there now, this is all just not quite sure how that was attached it doesn't seem to actually be spot welded or anything it just seems to be pulling away so it's literally just coming off Look. Dress on, on the actual seal, like right round there, look, it's a bit, a bit sketchy. But all of this, where it's just not attached, I'm sure, frame it. yeah, it's just all, all flaking off. So I don't think it was ever welded, and that's how it's managed to rot so much. Just had some sealer on it. Fucking thing. I'll make sure it's welded in. I can get in there with a MIG welder, so I'll plug weld, I'll make a lip, and I'll plug weld that whole lot. I'll show you when we get to it. I've uh, forged ahead quite a bit because uh, I'm sort of running out of light, running out of day. But you can see, uh, I've sort of, well, I've just sort of buzzed the bottom off quick. I've cleaned up all of that edge. Um, as I said, it it is it was spot welded, but like literally just like there, there, yeah, not not much at all. Um, I believe these were the drainage holes which have obviously rotted out um, but luckily it's not actually gone onto the main seal so I've cut it out around the back this this is all bonded there's no welds here at all that was literally just bonded on so that sort of fell apart done what I needed to do um, not sure what that bit's supposed to be doing but it's rotten and I'll get to that in a minute but the stage we're at now is I've uh, uh, yeah, I've made a little section that goes behind that so I can buzz all that out. I'll literally just cut the bottom off that and then buzz that all in and then that can i obviously got to cut it all out and then weld that in and then that'll weld up up there and then I've also gone through Started making this bit that goes there. So what I need to do now is get my uh, shrink stretcher out because, as you can see, right, just that's flat, but it dips in there. So I need to stretch this little piece here so then that bows in, and then it's also got a roll there. So I'll, I'll run that through the English wheel and then get the roll on it. Then once I've done that, I'll uh, get the hammer and on there and work this edge. And then once I've actually made the complete panel, then I'll I'll mark it and then cut the final bit. Once I've cut the final bit, so I know that sits in flush, I'll have plenty more room so I can get in here and then 
uh, I'll cut all this out and then I'll, I'll seam weld that little plate in. But this is why you do it in stages. So I've, I've got access to that. Still got plenty of strength. Um, I'm not I'm not worried about originality on that. So I'll literally just cut that in and I'll seam weld all of that. So it'll still be strong enough. But I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. So yeah, that's what I'll do. Sorry, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm sort of trying to rush this because the MIT is booked tomorrow. I've still got the other side to do. Um, but on the same token, do it properly as well. So that's why I'm not filming so much as I'd like to do. But I will, I will show you what I possibly can. So it didn't need a lot of uh, stretching, but you know, you look at that edge there, it's bang on. So that that's dropped in a little bit. That's why it's sort of out. It's not finished, but you can literally see. You know, there's not much of a curve, but there is a curve and if i'd have left that straight it would have stood out like a sore thumb same as if i leave that straight it's going to stand out like a sore thumb there's not much of a curve on it but there is a slight curve so i will run it through the english wheel and get that bang on so i'm gonna do that now right this is at the stage we're at now um i've got it shaped into the arch quite nicely um it's all sort of following the panel where it should I mean that's not even oh excuse me yeah that's not even clamped up that's just sat there look so quite happy with that um put a little uh return lip on it so then it can tuck up under there I mean, look, look how flimsy that is so yeah oh, i've cut all that out as well so that just sits in there quite nicely i'm really happy with all that sits in there quite okay. Let's get back in. Uh, yeah, so that's made. Once, once a little bit of tweaking, it's got a slight twist in it, but yeah, you can just about see the curve there. It's got a little curve there. I mean, it curves everywhere, really. It's got got the curve around there. So it follows that arch. Um, th this is all bonded on, so there's a massive gap under there. So I feel like about that. Look at that. That's fucking stupid. Uh, anyway, fucking dog racing. So yeah, I want to uh, cut all this out now. <coughs> Where's that plate on? The first plate I made. So, that goes on there. Um, I'll cut that bit off as well now. So that's a nice clean. I'll, I'll clean all that. I'll get the wire brush in it. I'm going to leave it rusty. So yeah, I'll uh, clean all this up. I'm not going to cut that, that edge off. I'm not going to but weld that in um, purely and simply because I'm not that worried about it. this is not a concourse motor so what I'll, I'll do is I'll cut the rust out so it doesn't keep rusting but I'll just bead it along that edge I'll, I'll cut the bottom off and it, uh, yeah I'll mark it out cut this bottom piece out and then I'll just bead it across that edge so it'll just be an extra bit of strength for it um, and then yeah that, that'll go in there and then this, I'll uh, put some holes, a lot more holes than factory. And then I'll, I'll buzz all that in as well. That's all seam welded. That'll go in there. And uh, yeah, be happy. So yeah, I'll do that and then I'll, uh, I'll show you where we're at once it's sort of all flush and, and stuff. Here's where we're at now. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Um, well, that little uh, plate's all welded in. Uh, I'm not going to bother grinding them back. I really don't give a shit. Like I said, it's my van. Um, I've buzzed it all in around there. That's all done. And I've just sort of flushed it and sh got that curve back in the top. Um, I've gone through and made all the holes in there. As you can see, there's going to be a lot more plug welds than it, it used to have. And then that just sort of... <coughs> there and sit exactly where it's supposed to sit she's all tucked in at the top already really strong but bouncing back doing what she's supposed to be doing that's super strong at the bottom um well i've plug welded all in there so we've got nice penetration 
Um, yeah, literally just a waiting game now. I'll uh, just go through, get uh, fill in everything. You know, you can't see me. I was just distorted. So, uh, little tacks all the way along until it's all filled up. Then I'll clean it all back. And there she is, all welded up. The welds are not great. I had to rush it. It's pulled in a little bit, but it's pulled in rather than pushed out, which is fine because I'm gonna skim it anyway. Like I said, it's my car. Um, but it is literally like one o'clock in the morning now. I just had to get it done, so I ended up rushing it. Hence why it's all a bit shit. But it's solid. You know. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna call it done for this video. Um, I would like to have shown you that finished. Uh, but you know I've still got other work to do and I'm not going to clean this up tonight I'm literally just going to lash some prim primer on it just to get it in for an MOT and well today really um, like I said it is literally one o'clock in the morning and I've still got more welding to do on the other side and other bits and bobs to do just to get it ready so um, yeah like I said at the top of the video please like share subscribe check out my friends in the description box and I'll, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Just so. Bye.